High school students across the country say they are making their voices heard walking out of class yesterday, one week after the Florida school shooting. They say they're standing in solidarity with the victims of the Parkland school shooting, calling for gun control. But one Houston area school district is threatening to suspend students who try to do the same. The Houston Chronicle is reporting that Needville ISD's superintendent sent a letter to, sent a letter to families saying students would face a three-day suspension if they joined in growing protests. While the district says it's sensitive to school violence, it's focused on education and not political protests. You may have brought the dark, but together we will shine a light. We can hug a little tighter, we can love a little more. A group of angry and frustrated survivors of the Florida school shooting ended a town hall hosted by CNN last night with that song, a message to the shooter and a tribute to the 17 people killed in last week's attack. But before the emotional performance, they came face to face with lawmakers and the NRA. Their message, guns are a problem. Hannah Doba joins us now live. And Hannah, Florida Senator Marco Rubio was among those put in the hot seat by these teenagers. Good morning. That's right. Things got tense for the Florida Senator Russ and Karen. Take a listen. Senator Rubio, can you tell me right now that you will not accept a single donation from the NRA in the future? Now, Rubio would not commit to turning down NRA money at CNN's town hall last night, where students and parents from Stoneman Douglas High School question lawmakers. Rubio did, though, say he would support legislation raising the age limit for buying a rifle. He also agreed to rethink his stance on large capacity magazines. Now, a spokesperson for the NRA, who was also at the town hall, spoke of the flaws in the system that allows mentally ill people to buy guns. She also pointed a finger at law enforcement for not doing more to act on those red flags raised by the alleged shooter leading up to the attack. NRA spokeswoman Jennifer Baker says raising the age requirement on shotguns and rifles from 18 to 21 would punish, quote, law-abiding citizens for the evil acts of criminals. President Karen. Well, Hannah, prior to the town hall, President Trump also met with students and parents from three different school shootings, including the one in Florida. What came out of that discussion? That's right. Earlier in the day, President Trump met with students from Douglas High School, Sandy Hook, and Columbine. Those affected made an emotional appeal to President Trump, who held notes with the message, I hear you, written in black marker. Now, Mr. Trump spoke of strengthening background checks and possibly arming teachers. With that said, he did take to Twitter in the last half hour saying, quote, I never said give teachers gun like was stated on fake news at CNN and at NBC. What I said was to look at the possibility of giving concealed guns to gun adept teachers with military or special training experience. Back to you. All right. Hannah Doba reporting live from New York. Thanks so much, Hannah.